Hello everyone, I'm Rob Goodwin of YourBostonSports.com. It's August 17th, the one up here, 2019. John Corn's joining me. I'm not sure. I think he's still in the green room at the buffet. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, hey. how are you? Good. Good. How yeah, are you? glad I could join you. So how was the buffet? Good. Good. We, I had uh, we, a chicken salad sandwich. Just chicken salad sandwich. Yes. Oh, yeah. Good for you. Good for in, you. Indeed. Yeah. It was. It was great. We we try to take, treat yeah. our you know our, our I like employees. steak. I like steak tips too. You had you had you had the best steak tips last last week too. Yeah. Well, excellent. We, we can't have the same food every week. No. But uh, yeah, you, you you treat your employees very good. We try, we try. Yeah. So, um, hey, the Red Sox are in pursuit of the wild card, and they're six and a half games out. Well, you know, they've been having, they've been having a disappointing se- um, season, but I'll tell you what, if you're a baseball fan, there's a lot of fun stuff, there's a lot of fun stuff going on. Well, that's true. That's true. Raphael Devers, um, and over in the National League, uh, we've had, uh, there's three teams in the Central that have been a game of, within a game of half each other all year. The exciting. Cubs. It's very exciting. Carl Yastrzemski's grandson hit three home runs last night. And he's going to be at Fenway next and he's month. He's going to be at Fenway next month. There's some fun stuff going on. But that this Devers guy is amazing, isn't he? Yeah. Now, I, in, in, in previous conversations with you, I've compared his situation to, um, to, to Zinner Bogarts in terms of, you know, Bogarts being out of position during the 13 World Series, you know, and I said he's a shortstop. In 2014, he needs to be at shortstop. And then what do they do? They They – re-signed Stephen Drew in, I think it was in May, which to me was ridiculous. You know, they need to let this guy um, develop at shortstop, and they didn't until 2015. Look what he's turned into. Yeah. And Devers is doing the same thing, but yeah. they didn't they didn't give up on him or they didn't, you know, put him out of position. You know, they did give him some time off, and he had a, he, I think he had an injury. Amazing. Injury a They're years both ago. amazing players. But you, knew, but, you know, you knew that they, they had to let him play. Yep. You know, played out, and his defense has improved greatly. And he's not just good; he's so animated. He's so much fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. He'll uh, he'll get his pitch, and he'll follow it off, and he'll just he'll. How did I miss that? He'll yeah, look yeah. at the umpire. He, yeah, he'll he knows look at his, it. Yeah, he'll he knows shoot. it. But he's animated about it. Yeah. He's he's entertaining. He doesn't he doesn't he. You can tell he's having a lot of fun out there. Exactly. exactly. What, what a what a what a, and Bogarts. I, I think I think ten years from now we're going to look back at he was the best player they had and. Long time, right? And you know, he he may not win an MVP, but I don't know. I just get the feeling, and I could be wrong because I've been wrong before, once. <laughs> but you know, he he. I think I think if you look back five years, ten years, he's going to be really one of the more consistent players in the game. Oh yeah, year after year after year. Oh yeah, you know. And there's no accident that I have a number two on my blue jersey. He may he <laughs> may uh, he may win an MVP. Devers, Devers will. Well, like, do you, have you looked at this, the American League leaders like yesterday? Devers is leading the league in total bases, RBI, doubles, and hits. He's number one or two in almost every yeah. offensive category yeah. in, in the in Except the league. home runs. Okay. And it's a 40, I think it's 43 doubles is the whole reason why, probably the whole mm-hmm. reason why. He's leading the league in total bases. And how about Mr. Sale? We keep talking about what a bad year he had, but he, he was the fastest uh, pitcher to, to hit 2,000 strikeouts. Yep, yep. yep. And, and the previous one was Pedro. Wow. Yeah. And, um, and you look at, at Michael Chavis. I know he's on the DL right now, but, I mean, he's kind of saved the left side of that infield. You know, he's played first yeah. base. He's played second base. And I got to say, Red Sox, Red Sox fans and Red Sox are very negative, but they don't. How many times have you seen a game, a team six and a half games behind another team on Labor Day and they overtake them? Sure, it's happened many times. So they're not out of it. And and, and as they're a, out of it. They're not going to win the division, but they're they're not out of the playoffs. Right. And I want to point out that they've scored a hundred runs more than Oakland, which is, which is a team above them. Mm-hmm. They've scored almost a hundred forty more runs than both. Um, than both Tampa Bay wow. and Cleveland, and wow. you know, if you, and I looked at at the Red Sox, the Indians, um, the A's, and the Rays, and they are all <clears throat> six and four in their last ten. It's the, a, none, the, none, none of them are setting the world on fire. It's a mystery why they don't have more. I mean, the the, the starting pitching; these guys are good. I, I just I don't get it. Well, Price they really, they Price, really, Price has been on the DL. He's on the DL now yeah. again. Right with a with a, yeah, with, a, with a finger thing, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know he he got a cortisone shot. 
Um, but, you know, they, he spent time in the DL. Porcello. I think Evaldi's starting today. Oh, is he? Now, he was supposed to start on Wednesday, last Wednesday, yeah. but he pitched. They put him in, in the Tuesday bull, night. He pitched in, in the bullpen. In Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, in Porcello, if you, if you take away his, his Cy Young season, his ERA is always over four. You know, can the guy get it together? Yes. You know, can he have a good stretch? Yes. Can he pitch when it really counts late in the season? Yes. But, but it's, it's, you know, the way he's. Can he give you a lot of innings? Yes. Right. He's a bulldog, as but they call it's the it. But it's the way he's pitched up till now that is the reason why there's six and a half games out. Him, you know, and pr absence of Price, absence of Evaldi, right? Um, Erod is is their best starting pitcher, no question, but he's no stopper. Stopper pitches seven innings on average. He's no stopper, you know? I mean, he's pitched, he's pitched great. What if, Evald what if Evaldi, Erod, and Sale are good down the stretch? And you got uh, you got Porcello to get you into the seventh inning, and uh, the bullpen can. What if, what if they get hot? And what if Tampa Bay cools off a little bit? Sure. I mean, it, I, you know, who who knows? They could they could go to they could go another slump, but right. You're not out of it when you're six and a half games behind. No, no. And if you look at it, if the Red Sox were eight and two right now, in the last ten, you know, they'd be four and a half out. I'm not. I'm doing the math in my head, so I can't. I don't know if that's exactly correct, but you know what I'm saying. If they if they had been winning in the past ten, eight, you know, eight and two, nine and one, they would definitely, you know, be four and a half out, or you know, six and a half out, four and a half out, which would make you feel a little better, you know. I think the reason baseball players are superstitious is because weird, weird, bizarre things happen in baseball, unlike any other. Yeah. Too many, too many strange things mm -hmm. happen. I'll never forget 2011, the, the St. Louis Cardinals. They stunk. They were, fi they were 500 or below 500 all year. All of a sudden, around Labor Day, they started to surge a little bit. And uh, they got into the second wild card. And they're the ones that had that World Series against Texas. Mm -hmm. They they were down to the last strike yeah, twice yeah. in the same game, game six, and then mm -hmm. went on to win game seven. See, you, you just you never know. True, true. You see things, you see strange things in other sports. They're not not like not like baseball. Yeah, yeah. And the Red Sox played one game under under protest. <clears throat> oh yeah, game. under uh, against um, against Tampa, right? Because the big, or is it Toronto or Tampa? I get I, I think it's uh, Tampa. Tampa. Because of their crazy substitution that uh, that our our friend. Um, Angel Hernandez screwed up. I got to tell you, I got to say this. <laughs> oh, no, here we go. Go ahead. Somebody's got to do some of the umpires. They're awful. You don't hear you don't hear stuff like this with uh, football or uh, NBA. Uh, well, I guess the well, NBA officials got accused of being being crooked uh, yeah. from time to time. But you, you just don't. Oh, they were accused and convicted, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't, you don't see hockey. Let's say, okay, let's say hockey and football. You don't, you don't, you don't see this. You don't, you don't see this kind of uh, – when Angel Hernandez is more – known than right, the third right. baseman for the New York Mets. Yeah. There's something wrong. Yeah. There's yeah. something wrong when uh, you you got a guy like uh, Joe West and Angel Hernandez are just as famous as the mm -hmm. players. There's something wrong with that. Yeah. And there's something wrong when they got to review all these plays and they're, they're wrong. Remember, remember the postseason last year? Three three times in one inning he was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. What was he doing there? Right. And plus – if you a know, third baseman was that bad, he'd be in AAA. Well, but they, you know, I believe that they do sanction and and and, and fine umpires. They just don't make it public, but, probably because the union doesn't want them to. But why is a bad umpire in the majors and not in Double A? Yeah, a bad player is right. Right. That's that's the question I have. Mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't get it. They must have they must have some kind of powerful. Well, they do have. Um, I mean, they do have a union, and I yeah. I think the union is a little bit less powerful. You know, since they they made all the umpires umpire in both leagues you know there mm -hmm. used to be such a difference with american league umpires versus national league umpires down to what where the chest protector was either external or under the shirt you know and the strike zone was different in, in the national league versus the american leagues but they've changed that i mean i i understand an umpire making a mistake is part of the game just like a center fielder making a mistake i understand that that's okay all right what i don't understand is why they act like the fans came to see them you know, some guy brought his kid to Fenway Park to see his favorite player, and his favorite player gets thrown out of the game because Angel Hernandez has a you know has mm. a you know a hair across his butt. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's there's something wrong there. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't see that in hockey or football or basketball. Right. I don't. Right. Do you? No, no. 
you know, with, with they're the, just waiting for some player to give them crap so they can throw them out. And you know what? With replay, there's no arguing. Yeah, that that's gone by the wayside. Mm-hmm. I, as a matter of fact, when there's an argument, I'll tune in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and the thing is with this instant yeah. replay, yeah, there's something wrong with these guys. You know, replay has has it down to the uh, how many frames per second, which the calls weren't meant to be made in 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 five frames, you no. know, 30 or 60 frames per no. second, or 90 frames per second of super slow-mo. Yeah, the officiating you know, in baseball is not, there's something wrong with it. It's not yeah. good. You know, so yeah. that's, that's, my, that's my gripe for... Uh, sure, and the Angel Hernandez thing, you know, went with Tampa where he didn't establish what the batting order was after the substitution where the pitcher went to first base for one play, one batter, and then came back to, to the pitcher's mound. That's his job. That's incompetence. That's, yeah. that, I don't know if that's not knowing the rule book, but that's his job. You know? I mean, Joe West is a windbag, but at least he's a good umpire. Uh, you know okay? what? I've come around to, I've come around, uh, to, to respect Joe West as, he's a as, good umpire. as an umpire and uh, how he does his job. He trains umpires. The umpires love him. He's very good at what he does. But, he, you know, he, he, okay, okay, so he's a jerk. So this guy, Angel, he's terrible. Yeah. What's he doing in the major leagues? If, he, if, if a team had a terrible second baseman, he wouldn't be in the major, right. major leagues. I, that's, that's the part I don't get. And, and Joe West is also a country music singer. Is he? Yeah, he is. Yeah, Joe West <laughs> is a country music singer. Yeah. He was uh, behind the home plate when we saw Buckholes pitch that no-hitter, right. uh, no remember? The no-hitter, 2000... <laughs> 2007. 2007, yeah. And, and um, no, I think it was... 2007. 2007. It was September. Okay, yeah. September, September 1st. 1st, 2007, yep. yep. I swear I remember this in that game. There was a, there was a, some, a strikeout or something, and, and when... When Joe West got the ball, instead of throwing it to the pitcher, he threw it to the third baseman. Do you remember that? No. Or am I, am I, um, am I thinking no. incorrectly? I remember the last, the last strike, the, the last pitch of the game was strike three, and Joe West had a blast calling strike three. Yeah. He, he took like you know, you know how they take like forty-five minutes and they go, they go like, you know, yeah. he was, you know, he knew he had just called a, he had just umpired a no-hitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm afraid my, my I have a streak intact. They've lost, they've lost both games I went to this year so far. Hmm. If, there, if there's another game in the playoffs or whatever, I'm kind of nervous. Because at one time, I was like a 10-game losing streak. Um, I, it, I was probably, it, was probably be, it was probably before 04. But I was on a big-time losing streak. Any game I went to, they lost. I went twice with you, right? Yeah. I think it was the only time. Yeah, it was the only times I went this yeah. year. Yeah, and I'm you got going, a game coming up, I'm, coming I'm up next up week. Yep. Yeah. I'm taking my sister. She was funny. I was over. I was. I was. I was over her house uh, before you, you and I went to the game. And she's like, "Oh, you're going to Fenway?" I go, "Yeah." yeah. I, I never go anywhere. I go. To, I go to the grocery store. I go. I get. I got tickets to September. You want to go? <laughs> so, does so she? Does Does she kind of come to the conclusion that she's going to have to spend a couple hours in the car with you both ways? Well, she's going to bring earmuffs and uh, you know tranquilizers and uh, yeah, you know. She should bring her lots uh, of loud music or noise canceling headphones, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> corn canceling headphones, oxycotton, <laughs> painkillers. <laughs> oh my god! Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, I always times? get t- I always get tickets for the last the end of the season just yeah. in case because two years ago I went to uh, a game. It was the second to last game of the season, and they 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 had clinched the division. Mm-hmm. That, or, so. Now, was that was, it, that, it, was it, that boring? You know, well, you knew, of, well, you, knew the, you knew they were gonna. Yeah, you knew that. Yeah. You, know, you knew they were gonna. They were like, I don't know what was. It must have been about a week before the season ended. Oh, okay. Because they, they were like six games out in front, and they so, quit, so, you know, they, they, so they had clinched before the game you went to, or or, or they, that game they, 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 they clinched they, that they, game. They oh, clinched, that's exciting. They clinched. That's they, exciting. They, yeah, yeah. So. I remember you and I went to a September game. I don't know what year it was. It was in the last five years, where they were totally out of it. And it was just the most boring thing I've ever been to. It was like you, what? it was like watching paint dry. Do you remember about twenty years ago, you and I going to a game, and it was I forgot who it was. He was getting shelled in the, like the first. I mean, ter- they gave like they gave like nine runs in the first inning, and it was it was raining. We left the, the first time I ever. The only time I ever left like in the first or second inning. Do, w- do, was that that wasn't was that eight, wasn't wearing the bleachers? Was no, it? this was decades ago. Yeah. I, I forgot. This is who how was. long we've been going to games. Yeah, together. and believe that it's awful, isn't it? Third, like what yeah. third, thirty. 30 yeah. something. Years. It's the worst 30 years of my life. Oh, <laughs> and I'm only 26. Yeah. Every time I go to a game, I look next to me, it's you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I remember that one. I don't think I remember that Who one. What the heck was that? I mean, I remember seeing Mark Clear blow a whole game. Of course, he blew every game. Well, not every game. It might have been him. He was a reliever, though. Oh. Mark Clear the bases. 
which he did every time. Mm. He, every time he pitched, well, not every time. I'll, yeah. I'll say not every time he pitched, but a lot. So I have to explain to our to our viewers that I know there are people watching, but we're not seeing this side of the camera. So we're not ignoring you if you're commenting. We appreciate the comments and we appreciate you watching. But we're just not looking at that side of the camera in this. What do you appreciate, setup. anybody? I appreciate everybody. Yeah. Well, you think, did you catch did you catch the game the other? It was last week. Avaldi uh, was pitching, and Jerry Remy and O'Brien. Avaldi's grandmother asked Avaldi to go get Jerry's autograph. I, and, yeah, I, they, they were I laughing. I think he's playing with these <laughs> Hall of Fame guys, and <laughs> did he want, she wanted your autograph. Well, maybe, I guess she likes me. I don't know. It was, it was just a funny. It was just funny. She, her grandson's a major league player, and he's playing with guys like yeah. you know J.D. Martinez and. She goes up and get Jerry. She wants Jerry's autograph. Well, I wonder, if we're, like, <laughs> is, pretty is, cool. she, is she been a Red Sox fan? No, and knows Jerry Remy well enough. I, I don't know. It's just it just sounded funny, yeah, you know. Yeah. So what? What? You, what you, I don't know. What do you want? What you want my autograph for? I don't know. I don't know. I forget. I forget how they were saying it. Yeah, but it was, yeah, it was yeah. kind of fun listening to it. Well, so what I want to point out um, that we talked talked about before off camera is that you know, Mister Thirty Million Dollars. And I'm sorry if I'm, I'm being a little bit arrogant here, but. Thirty million dollars is really the best, the third best player on the team. Mookie Betts, he's heating up. Obviously, he at twenty-one home runs, but you look at, you know, we already talked about Devers and Bogarts. Betts is he's not the forgotten man, but third best on the team. You know what? He gets thirty million from somebody. You think? Oh yeah, but they're gonna hang on to Devers and uh, and uh, Bogarts. There was, a, there was a statement that came out that said if he wants to stay, they'll pay him. I don't know what that means. I don't know. Maybe he wants to. Maybe maybe we got him. Maybe we're reading him wrong. You know. Well, he's he's not a Jacoby Ellsbury, in terms of as soon as my contract. Nobody off, is. I'm that guy here. stays out for two years if he has a two years. His pinky hurts. Well, he, he no baseball activity. I think they took his locker away at Yankee Stadium. Um, but I'm saying he's no Jacoby Ellsbury in terms of as soon as I'm done on my lab with my last contract, I am out of here. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think he's like that. But you never know. I just hope they don't get into, into a situation where they where they trade him, you know, his last year like they did with with uh, with Lester. You know. Yeah. I, I I don't know. I just hope that, that that's not the Do situation. Do you think uh, J D Martinez stays or opts out of his contract? I think he stays, but I also think that he's very active in the union and has a big part in the next labor contract because he seems very outspoken about how many players were unsigned you know, going through spring training and after and how long it took for players to get signed and that there's something wrong with the system and the owners. That's the, what that's what he the believes. The player's contract is up in 2021, right? Uh, yes. And I have full confidence that Rob Manfred will get, will get this done. There better not be another strike. I don't think there will be. I think Rob Manfred knows, knows enough uh, of this game. Mm. You know, as much as he's – as much as a lot of things he's done we disagree with, you know, including – pace of play and the clock running and all this stuff. I mean, they saw they he's saw no, what happened what the last is strike. He's, he's no dummy. They he's, saw what happened the last strike. That yeah. it took a couple of years for the public to forgive them yeah, for that. Yeah. They, they'll, it'll be it'll be it'll be a lot more than that. Nah, it's, it'll be a disaster if they yeah, strike. Yeah. Yeah. So like I said, they need to get on a roll. And they, and what team what better team to do it against than Baltimore? Mm. You know. And the Yankees, while well, they they got walled, the Yankees got walled by Cleveland two games ago, and then they beat them yesterday. Three in a row. Yeah, yeah. And if they win tonight, it's four in a row. I mean, who, who knows? You can't, you know, too many people got too much figured out. Yeah. all the time. Yeah. Oh, this guy's not going to have a good. This guy's going. He's he's going to hit twenty home runs this year. They're going to end up. They're going they're going to win ninety games. You don't. You don't. You don't know. Who predicted? You don't. Who, who predicted how this rotation would would pitch? Terrible. Well, I mean, you, you just don't know. Terrible is, is that too strong a word? I mean, they just not not met expectations. Is that better, or have they been terrible? I, I don't know. It's the difference between last it's year and this year is yeah. the rotation. Yeah, because their bullpen's been okay, right? And their hitting's off the charts. Yep. You know, and that and that spot in the rotation that Evaldi vacated with you know being on the IL really hurt. They know how yeah. to wear out. They know how to wear out opposing mm -hmm. pitching. They're the they're, the, they're really they're good at two, you know two strikes two two strike inning. Two outs, yep. rallies, and stuff like that, and, and hopefully sales figure things out finally. With, you know, with the help of whoever. I don't think it was Levangi. I know they thought that um, they thought that Bedroya figured, figured something out a while back, mm -hmm. but um, you know he's had a couple of good starts in a row, and they, I think they did figure something out. And, and he, I read about it. It was too too complicated for me to figure out. I'm, I'm no a, pen, no pitching coach. I think a lot of it's instinct. I, I think 
sometimes you got to wonder these guys pay a little too much attention to and you know analyzing their you know the videos and stuff like that and because did you see what the philadelphia phillies did they hired charlie manuel I saw that. to be I their hitting coach that. okay now you know he's not he's he's, he's probably old-fashioned hitting coach he's, he's probably yeah. he's, gonna, he's gonna be there in a batting cage yeah. with him and one of the philadelphia hitters already said uh, yeah, Charlie told me sometimes to be a good hitter, you got to get dumb. You know, you got to rely on your instincts. Mm -hmm. You got to rely on your your. You just let your natural uh, talent take over. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not always. You know. You know, I, I remember Yas saying one time, my all time favorite. I mean, you know, not not the David Ortiz, Pedro. I mean, Schilling. Oh, my, my gosh, what they did for that team. But you know, my all time favorite is Yas. But him, remember him saying he. The only time he doesn't think about baseball is while he's playing. Mm. He thinks about in his. He goes, "I think about baseball in my sleep." Yeah, yeah. But when I'm on the field, I don't think about it. He just his his uh, his instincts take over, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. And so, so maybe maybe these guys have, are getting a little bit too analytical. Yeah. And they yeah. need a guy like Charlie Manuel, right? You know, right. Who's just gonna get in a batting cage with them well, and I talk think, to him. And I think the Red Sox have a, have have a balance with that with Tom with um, not Tom Goodwin with um, their their hitting coach. Um, his name escapes me. Gordon. The top. No, no, good one. No, not no, good one. Not good. He's yeah. first base he's coach. First base coach. Gordon. They, they've got You're two. Gordon. Well, they've got two. They've got two hitting coaches. <laughs> they got two hitting coaches. One on the. I think one is one on the analytics mm. side. Yeah. I can't believe I can't remember his name. But anyways, uh, I well, think blows your way is Williams was on the analytics side before there were any. Yeah. Before there was any such thing. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You got to have both. Yeah, yeah, and I think they try to do that on the pitching side too. Yep. Hey, did I tell you I saw a meteor? Yeah, walk you said you're out in the. Uh, walk my dog, yeah. eleven o'clock at night uh, last month, and uh, I turned over, turned around, look at my house, and I saw this meteor streak across the sky, green tail and everything, all oh. over the news. Mm. The uh, the um, CBS affiliate messaged me on Facebook. They saw my post. They want to. Did they interview you? They asked. They asked, and I said, I said, I guess Scott. I got uh, two words for you, Area Fifty One, aliens. A aliens? Yeah, they, yeah, they hung up on me. Are you serious? <laughs> no. <laughs> I no, no, I declined. I said, you know, they, I declined. They they need to find an expert to talk to from Yukon or somewhere. Not not a, not a dumb idiot like me who was just walking his dog and saw this thing across the sky, you know. I'm telling you, it was aliens. It was an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. So is Yaz going to be at Fenway next month? I would think so. I would think he'd see he'd see. Uh, do you, do you think? Do you think he'll go into the broadcasting booth? Yeah, it could be. Could the be. only time I know of, we, we, they had that Yaz day when they retired his number. Mm -hmm. He went he went up to the broadcasting he, booth for like an inning or two. But, yeah, he's done it a couple times. Yeah, yeah I've, I've seen him. He, yep. he yep. really really stays under the radar. Yep, he's, he's my favorite too. Yeah. My other jersey, my other jersey has has eight on it. I'm gonna tell you yeah. something about yes, and and again, I mean, what Sale did last year with the, with all those, you know, Poppy and Pedro and Ortiz breaking the curse. I mean, you can't, you, you know, you'll never see the Franconi years. You know, you'll never see anything like that again. Yeah. But yeah. before '67, the Red Sox were a second rate. Sure, five thousand fans would come to a game. Right. And ever since that year, hmm? he he put the Red Sox oh, yeah. on the map absolutely permanently. Yep. yep. Okay, so. No Yaz, no 67 mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. No 67 season, no Red Sox yep. nations, okay? That could be a little stretch, mm -hmm. but I don't care. That's, no, think, that's, that's exactly, exactly what happened. He's, he's the, he's, he opened the door for them to be a, 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 uh, an elite team. That's accurate. Yep. That's accurate. Yep. Yep. So, well, uh, well, let's hope they get hot uh, starting mm -hmm. now because the sooner the better. Yeah, they, again, they, Absolutely. They got, the, they got the Orioles coming up today. And... Uh, one last night, so uh, like you said, they won three in a row so far. It's and, terrible um, what the owners have done to that franchise. What a what a great franchise, yeah, and a great tradition, yeah. beautiful ballpark, and they just let them, you know, spend some money, get do something, yeah, get get, yeah. A, get a team for the fans, fill yep. that, fill that stadium up. Totally, I don't get totally, it. Totally agree. I don't get it. Even even if they were the Red Sox arch rivals, to see that a team like that, yeah, you know, year after year, be you know, be a punching bag. It'd be like seeing the St. Louis Cardinals in last place yeah. five years in a row. Right. Come right. on. Exactly. You know. Exactly. And, yeah. and the, the owners, the owners got money. Sure. He's in, a, he's in a good. He's in a night. They're a, you know good city, a good area. Yep. You know, good area for fans. Good. Yep. You know, good area for a lot of things. They got a great ballpark. Yep. Built by Larry Lachino. 
Yes. And and um, now there's a guy that belongs in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yeah. He he started the trend of the modern ma- baseball parks. Mm-hmm. That's that's big. Sure. That's sure. huge. Absolutely. And he was he was one of the people that helped break the curse of the Bambi. Yeah. He's he's um hey, San Diego, Baltimore, Boston. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. No doubt. So. All right, we'll see if the Red Sox can get a hot CLA do today. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Been a, uh, a great time getting together with you. Um, usually not, but uh, today's been pretty good. All right. Okay. Thanks so, for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.